Hi, my name is Bob Carney. I build uh, medieval castles out of Lego block. Uh, I've been doing it for 30 years. Uh, the castle I brought to Brickworld this year is my 152nd. Uh, it's a ruin of a uh, French uh, castle uh, in what was uh, originally Brittany. Uh, it's now uh, in the uh, department of the Loire Atlantique. Uh, and uh, it's uh, a castle that uh, dates from uh, 1125. Uh, it was uh, added to uh, and uh, updated and improved uh, uh, many times uh, over the uh, years of the uh, three uh, main families that owned the castle. Um, it uh, is the only castle uh, of any size that I have built uh, in the last 30 years which has a, an entrance to the main castle which is for pedestrians only. Uh, most of the castles have a large uh, gate, usually with a drawbridge, which would allow in uh, horses and carriages. Uh, but this castle uh, was uh, uh, protected well enough from uh, invaders to uh, allow people only in uh, one at a time. Really? So that, how, this is like a very unique thing then, yeah. It is, uh, in my experience, yes. Interesting, interesting. And so um, I, I see a photo of the castle over here, which I'm sure we'll link to at some point in the video description. But uh, describe to me, though, what, what geography does the castle exist in that causes it to, to appear the way it does? The uh, land in which the castle sits uh, is a marsh. Uh, the uh, land, I think, was built up uh, where the castle rests and then the marsh uh, cleaned out and uh, dug out a bit to create uh, uh, a regular, a rather large uh, irregular lake uh, in which the uh, uh, castle uh, rested. Um, I think it probably was uh, uh, much like it is uh, in my model uh, back in the day. Uh, currently, uh, the marsh has partially dried up and it's uh, completely overrun with weeds and uh, vegetation, but uh, uh, I think this looks a lot like it might have looked uh, seven or eight hundred years ago. Very cool, very cool. Now, one of the most impressive things about these uh, builds, it, it just the sheer number of parts, particularly gray bricks, uh, I, I feel. Other than the gray bricks or sheer volume of pieces, what is the second, maybe? Is, is that the first, uh, I guess, two-part question? Is that the number one challenge uh, when building just the sheer number of parts to deal with? And then after that, uh, what is the second greatest challenge that you face when executing these large models? Well, uh, having done 152 castles, uh, <laughs> when I started, the uh, problem, of course, was volume of Lego because I didn't have very much. Nip that one in the butt quick. And, 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 yeah, <laughs> I, I, I did it as quickly as uh, my wife would let me. Let's let's put it that way. Very nice. Uh, now the challenge is uh, finding castles that look like they'd be just a ball to build. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, French castles uh, which are quite irregular uh, with uh, towers uh, put uh, seemingly helter-skelter. I'm sure there was a very good reason for it yeah. uh, uh, eight or nine hundred years ago, but uh, it's not evident to me at the moment. Uh, the, for instance, the gatehouse of this particular castle has two towers which are different sizes. Uh, and that's uh, highly unusual. Uh, the residential range, which is now ruinous, uh, was apparently uh, modeled after the uh, gorgeous nearby uh, Chateau de Jocelyne. Uh, so I have tried to re recreate a uh, residence for the lords to live in, which is uh, uh, elegant and quite decorative. Um, we have a bit of an impasse in the castle as there is a, a four-way of uh, uh, knights and soldiers about to leave the castle and they're about to meet up with several cattle uh, and a young lad uh, about to uh, enter the drawbridge. Uh, we'll see how that comes out possibly tomorrow. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. And so you seem like a person that might be able to speak on this, but what country uh, has the most boring castles in the world? Is there such a thing? Ooh, should I actually? I mean, say that? we're potentially offending a, a massive group of people. We'll just hope that these castles are a thousand years old. So anyone that could really take offense at this uh, statement that you're getting ready to make is okay. not in a position to care. I, I will qualify it and say that, uh, um, uh, uh, considering the castles that I have seen and the castles that I have built, 
I would say the most boring probably came from Poland. But but boring a qualifier of boring is is just a square castle that is has round straight corners no irregularity that's boring right it is and is otherwise just kind of ugly so they're well built but they're they're just yes. kind of like they're just they're they're not irregular they're not fun to build with Lego yeah you know, they did the job but they did uh, the job yeah. right at the time uh -huh. interesting interesting I like I like the the that statement though um, have you taken any interesting fact finding trips to Europe to do some uh, investigation for your uh, projects. Uh, sometimes we're lucky enough to do that, sometimes we're not. In this case, uh, my wife and I did visit the castle uh, about uh, 32 months ago. Uh, and in fact, uh, one of the pictures uh, that your partner probably took a picture of uh, shows me in front of the uh, ruinous gatehouse uh, on our visit to the castle in September of awesome. 2014. Awesome. Very cool. So I guess in conclusion, um, what do you have in plans for next year, and uh, how long do you think this uh, castle will stick around? Uh, the castle's not going to stick around too long. Uh, I will probably be deconstructing it pretty soon after we get back to uh, central Illinois uh, uh, a couple of days from now. Um, the next project has not been decided. Uh, my wife does get a vote. Uh, we did not get nominated uh, again this year. I've had three nominations in eight years which considering the incredible quality of uh, Lego that's uh, at this uh, enterprise is, is uh, I think a pretty good track record. Definitely. But uh, we may go back to looking for uh, shock and awe uh, with uh, next year uh, like we did with uh, Neuschwanstein a couple of years ago. Very cool. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Wonderful builds as always. Thank you again.